Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in Dabba Reading, Psalms 1 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish all right guys so this chapter is very simple and short but there's so much within this chapter we as christians i'm speaking to my christian brothers and sisters now we are not supposed to stand in the way of sinners meaning that we're not supposed to cause sinners not to want to come to god we should not act in a way that will actually basically cause sinners not to want to get to know God, not to want to live for God in a way that will actually deter them from coming to Christ and knowing Christ for themselves. That's not what we ought to do. We ought to meditate on his words day and night, meditate on the Lord's laws day and night and in so doing it's not just about thinking on it but actually acting on it acting in the way that the lord wants us to act in the way he gave us guidance to act within his words right because if we do not do this then we shall be like trees that are planted but we bear no fruit no fruit whatsoever unless we actually meditate on the words of the Lord. We will never bear fruits. We will always be basically stationary and stagnant. Okay? And so we need to ensure that we meditate on the words of the Lord so that we will be fruitful and fruitful and multiply in the way that we gain followers for Christ or we encourage others to want to come to Christ and to know Christ for themselves and to know God for them for themselves also right and it says that the ungodly the ungodly the their ways shall surely perish and we don't want our brothers and sisters to perish and that is the reason why we go back to Verse 1, do not stand in the way of sinners. Okay? All right, guys. So, I'm going to leave you right there. I mean, there's so much more to go into it. That's where I'm going to leave you for right now. Okay? All right, guys. Remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.